Um, back on the com inner complexity. <laughs> yep. Um, <laughs> it it just. I was saying to someone the other week that I feel like if I put the internal world of an INFP inside of me, I'd explode. I just. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't handle it. <laughs> yeah, and I. I'm not sure if I'm assuming this is true for other INFJs, but we like we like a certain level of order and structure yes. and yes. planning, and, and we like to start things and finish. You know, it's the J part of the INFJ. They like mm. a certain level of order and structure and like to finish things. And yeah. um, whereas INFPs, you know, the P part, the, everything's a bit more open ended. Happy to kind of just you know do some stuff here, go over there, and do some stuff over there. Um, and that's something I think I notice in INFPs is this, it's like, in my world, it's like there's so much unfinished business <laughs> inside the INFP. <laughs> and um, and I, I sense that in them. Uh, and I, if that was in me, I, I, I just couldn't handle it. But it's absolutely fine inside an INFP. Yeah, it's, it is. There's a lot of calm in all yeah, that. Yes, it is. In yeah. fact, the question I wanted to ask before was if... If someone tried to get you to put some bookends on ideas and thoughts mm. and some closure and, and what, what's the summary to all of this, Bob? You know, what uh, my, even the way you did that, that even the idea of that would, it, it sh is almost a shudder. It is. It is. Yes, it is. Um, yeah, I think that's one of the reasons I had so much trouble writing theological papers. <laughs> the <I> conclusion. To, <laughs> I had to bring it all together. <laughs> oh boy. It was torture. Oh, I can see that. <laughs> Whereas me doing it, for me, doing the conclusion kind of just, oh, it gave me relief. <laughs> you know, it was like, finished. Yeah. Handed in. <laughs> yeah. So you were sort of forced to close something off that you almost didn't want to, or yeah, yeah, yeah. I've order. <laughs> <laughs> I love the opening reference in Genesis. In the beginning was chaos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mm. yeah. I don't do order too well, but yet there's order in my life, but it's not planned and strategic. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. not. Yeah. And I understand entirely what you're saying, Scott. I understand that entirely yeah. and see the need for it. Uh, yet my life is <clears throat> not, um, has order, but not in the way that yeah. it does in yours or the way you define it. Sure, yeah. Yeah. sure. Yeah. Yeah, but it sounds as though, in some ways, the the, the perceived inner disorder, it's not disorder at all, mm -hmm. it, it it works for the yeah. INFP, yeah. but that doesn't equate to disorder in life. No, no, it doesn't. Um, mm -hmm. it, you know, it can look quite, um, uh, I don't know what the word would be, uh, structured for the want of a better term, yeah. or ordered or yes. normal, you know. Yeah. Um, so it doesn't equate to external chaos, mm. um, but to maybe to INFJs, the inner world of an INFP looks chaotic. Yeah. I'm sure it does. For the INFJ, but, <laughs> but it's bliss for the INFP. <laughs> Just don't put it in me. <laughs> but I think uh, that's actually one thing I value about about the INFP and, and the P in general is mm -hmm. they're not they're not quick to to um, close things down or or, or summarise or or you know, I sort of see the P as kind of a open this openness, yes. right? And yes. uh, and the J is more Always want to bringing something down yes. to a point, yes. Um, and I can see that in me as well, and it, and it's it's both a blessing and mm -hmm. and a curse in a way because uh, in in wanting to sort of um, get down to the to the uh, to the point of something or to the to the the crux crux uh, crux 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 of something has its benefits, but to do so also has to leave out some mm -hmm. things. Mm -hmm. And for the INFP, they'll probably notice mm -hmm. the leaving out mm -hmm. of things, maybe. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah, I, I, I get what you're saying about not wanting to conclude things or close things or, or, or bring things.
this to a conclusion. Yeah. 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 Although having said that, Scott, it's interesting. Big, sorry, sorry, Bob, just, on. just hold on to that bit. But, but in a sense, from what you've also been saying tonight, in a way, all this reading that you say that you do, and, and try, it's almost like you're trying to get to... Um, yes, some conclusion. You, yes. That's it, yeah. Yes, that's true. Yes, it is. It's like I'm trying to find something, but I'm not exactly sure what it is. Mm. And I'm just having this sense that when I find it, I'll know, but it hasn't happened yet. <laughs> well, I think, I, think I, I connect with that too yeah. as an idealist. Yeah. I feel like I'm constantly, uh, as INFJ, as an idealist, mm. working towards some ideal. Yes. I, don't, I can't quite tell you what it is, yes. but I'll know it when yes. I get there. Yes. Um, but the best way for me to describe it is is like total harmony mm. harmony within the self harmony in relationship mm. harmony in what i'm doing reflects who i am mm. and uh uh i don't think i'm going to get it this side of heaven if you like it's mm. but there's always that, that you sort of talk about that drivenness for the infp i think it's similar for the infj as well it's similar for me that, that I'm always working towards an ideal. Um, and in a way, it is, is, it is its own form of torture. Because there's an, even though I don't quite know what the ideal looks like, um, for me, the, the, I'm, work, I'm walking or working towards it, but I know I'm not there yet, and I'm aware of the not yet that, yes. there yet. Yes. And and I can't live with that. Yes. I've got to keep working towards it. Mm. Um, I think you used the analogy before. I think you did. Um, maybe I did about the jigsaw puzzle. It's it's a little bit like um, it's a little bit like having a jigsaw puzzle, but not knowing what the picture is or how many pieces there are. Mm. But you have a sense that you're putting some pieces into place. Yeah. I have this sense when I sift through things and read things, I have a sense that uh, I've understood this. and So it becomes part of this bigger picture, but I don't know how big the picture is or where it starts or ends. I don't know that. Mm. And so... The, the way it looks to me for the INFP is that with every new piece that's found, the picture gets a little bigger. Yes. Yes. Yes, it does. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just never ending. Yes, yes. <laughs> and that's okay. It's like a tapestry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Where, where the INFJ is looking for those corner pieces. <laughs> parameters, yeah. Yes, yes parameters. Yeah. Boundaries. I, was, I, don't know if, I don't know if this has any relevance on what we're mm. talking about, but uh, um, this sense of bringing things to a close or concluding. Mm. Um, I've noticed an interesting thing in my life. I've had lots and lots of acquaintances. I don't have lots of close friends. Mm. I've never had lots of real friends. I'm sure that's true for everybody. But through my life, especially the last 10 years, lots of people have come and gone, sometimes for short times, mm. days, weeks, months. And I've had a sense sometimes that this person's come into my life for a good reason mm. for both of us to benefit mm. and I had a situation just on the weekend where I befriended this person and the friendship lasted for about four months mm. and I had a sense right at the beginning this is this sense thing again or this intuition mm -hmm. I had a sense right at the beginning that uh, this person had come into my life um, sounds a little trite or arrogant, but it's, it's, it's the truth that this person had come into my life so I could be of some benefit, so I could help this mm. person. Mm. And I had a real sense of that, even though I didn't necessarily say that. Mm. And on the weekend, I sent this person a text message, and the text message was, is that time up yet? Okay. And the person responded, probably. And so, the door was closed. Okay. So, mm. but that's based on... Was there, was there mutuality in that? Yes. Okay, yes, so it wasn't a... Absolutely. Yeah. It's absolutely uh, when the relationship unfolded, uh, when the relationship...
relationship unfold even further into the relationship. Mm. Well, at the start, <clears throat> we both we both had a sense of this, mm. and we both had a sense that it was going to be for a season. Yeah, and it comes back to that sense thing again, that perception, that whatever you want to call it. And I just had mm. a sense on the weekend that, but mm. I didn't want to say it's over. I wanted to get some feedback. Yeah. I wanted to get this person's feedback. Yeah. It's interesting that, again, I always I tend to think in pictures or um, analogies, but the, the whole, you know, the INFJ, uh, INFP is on their, you know, that journey of self, self actualization that are on their cause. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I, I mean, being an INFJ, I've got a straight line here. <laughs> but um, people, while the INFP is on that journey, um, people come in to that journey and something happens. Yes. There's a purpose in that journey yes. for both you, for you and for the other person. Yes. Yeah. But then they go off on their journey over here. Um, does that... Yes. I'm just thinking of that closure yes. thing yeah. that events and seasons, experiences all happen on, on the mm. INFP's journey. Mm. And there's a sense of ending to some of those, mm. but the greater journey of the INFP continues yes. on. Yes, well yes, yeah. it does. Yes. Yeah. yes. That doesn't happen with every connection I have, Scott. That's not the case. Sure. But it has happened a number of times where I've had a real sense that right. this person's uh, come into the picture or come into my life for a reason. I haven't been sure what the reason is. Mm. And um, You're not too quick to find out either. No, I'm not. I don't need to know. Yeah. I have this. In, I have this greater sense in something bigger than me that God's got things. Yeah. I don't need to worry about the wheres and the yeah. whys and the wherefores. Yeah. yeah. What? Just to change the subject. What about being misunderstood? Does Does that fit? <laughs> Do <you>? Yeah. <laughs> How does that fit for you? I get. I've, I've been misunderstood <clears throat> mainly by Christian Scott. Right. Severely. Mm. <clears throat> used to upset me. Um, What's misunderstood? What What is the misunderstanding? Or maybe it's maybe it's it's hard to differentiate, but uh, uh, sometimes about why and what it is. Maybe it's the fact of my NFP. I'm not sure. Um, I think I think I find it difficult to define and describe my spiritual journey, mm. and it doesn't fit into the traditional context right and most people Christians in particular so it seems need to understand things intrinsically mm -hmm. need to have black and white parameters and boundaries mm. and things need to fit into that yeah I don't have that same that's not an issue for me mm. Mm. and so I think because of that there's been a lot of misunderstanding mm. sometimes the flack has been severe yeah right really severe and being being an introverted feeler, generally considered uh, quite a vulnerable function, easily hurt. Mm -hmm. Generally, uh, do you find that that being misunderstood or even judged for being you? I guess everyone would it, it mm -hmm. would feel the pain of yeah. of rejection and judgment. Yeah. Um, so it's probably hard to ask the question of do, do is it any more or less for you? Because it would be hard to. How that pers perspective? I, I think I had a, I think I had a, <clears throat> a greater sense of that when I was growing up, a sense of rejection. Mm. Uh, I used to think there was something wrong with me. Mm. I used to think that my personality, my character was somehow misshaped. I don't feel that anymore. Mm. Um, and as far as the sensitivity issue is concerned, I've really gotten better there. I, realize now that when people get upset more often than not it has nothing to do with me mm, mm. it's about something else mm. so I still get offended of course but mm. not nearly as much as I used to mm. Mm. Uh, just another angle on the misunderstoodness mm -hmm. um, I mean it wasn't until I researched Myers-Briggs and then read up about INFPs and <coughs> Um, that I even knew that you guys existed. Like, before, even though I knew you for 10 years, I, I didn't, didn't know, know I existed either. Yeah, I appreciated you, but I didn't know why. <laughs> um, uh, 
but there was a real sense of like like I see INFPs as a incredibly different type mm. of person. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. That the the way the INFP um, thinks, processes, mm. um, their journey in life is. Um, so I, I guess where I'm going with it is that as an INFP, and most people generally not having an understanding of Myers Briggs and all of that. Um, uh, have you felt in your life um, misunderstood um, or not known because of mm. of, yeah. of who you are? Yes. 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 Like people don't really get me. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah, I felt that with my own family. Yeah. Mm. My own parents, my own mm. brothers and sister. Mm. They're not INFP, from what you no. can tell. Yeah. No one else in my family is INFP. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Um, I think, um, as a child in particular, they had a really severe inferiority complex. I think it was because of the stuff we're talking about. I found it so difficult to join in with other kids, mm. to be part of the scene, mm. you know, to be part. Um, just to be part of it, mm. I always felt on the outside. Mm. It was painful, difficult. Mm. Didn't know why. Um, I guess that's the landscape of the INFP too. This mm. sense of solitude and aloneness. Yeah, I've heard that similar description for the INFJ as well. That they can see an INFJ can see the connection between others, like in relationship and so on. And I'm probably not doing this justice. But there's a sense in the INFJ that that they don't have that in in other people's. Uh, let me backtrack. There's it. Um, yeah, I'm probably not doing the memory of what I remember justice. But there's a sense that others others seem to be having this relational connected and all of that going on but the INFJ doesn't feel like they're ever really a part of that no I was the same um, mm -hmm. uh, and it's and I think that might be part of the the tension maybe for for our INFJs that there's that awareness yet there's a there's a, such a deep desire in INFJs for depth yeah. of connection and yeah um, that longing for that deep connection. I think INFJs and INFPs share that depth um, of, of the desire for connection. I didn't know how to make that connection. I didn't know how to facilitate it. Mm. I didn't know what I needed to do. Mm. So as I got older, I faked it, yeah. hoping that somehow I'd make it, mm. that connection. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Um. Uh, the third function for the INFP is the introverted sensing, the idea of um, you know going, relying on past experience to, to find a solution for a current situation, something along those lines. Does that connect with you? Did before the interview? It did. Yeah, I remember. So, I remember <laughs> saying it did. <laughs> Maybe I asked it a different way. <laughs> Let me say it a different way, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> the complexity of the INFP. Oh, I'm, in, I'm getting embarrassed. <laughs> Is my face turning weird? <laughs> yeah. uh. <clears throat> it's like there's a, um, like a, a, a filing system on the inside that sort of stores all of the um, you know, past experiences and what, what worked in a way to, to solve or to fix that, that situation. And so when something's happening in the present, I, and it's like, oh, have I had this experience before, this situation before, go into the memory bank, what have I used, what did I do last time I had this, oh yeah, that's right, that worked, and use it in, in this situation. No good? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Um. Oh. I'm having trouble with that question, Scott. Yeah. Yeah. I did agree. At first, that's it's true, but now. to the end of yes. our conversation. Yes. Well, thanks for thanks for the time. It's been really good. My pleasure.